Well, good morning. Welcome to Debbie's Back Porch. Today I'm going to can some tomatoes in the atmospheric steam canner. This is kind of a new thing, so I'm going to go through the process with you. Well, this is always an exciting time of year for me. Our tomatoes are coming in. Um, and I spend most of the year thinking about planting or actually doing something with tomatoes. Uh, but this video is not actually about tomatoes. We are going to can these tomatoes. But this video is about the steam canner. Well, this is my Back to Basic steam canner. And I'm going to tell you right up front, I wish I'd bought the Victorio. So if you're just still looking, go ahead and get the Victorio. Don't bother with this one. So it's basically a tray with a rack and a dome cover which they say can double as a water bath, but if it does, it's only going to fit pints. Uh, it has uh, a couple of vent holes in it, one on each side. Uh, it does not have a thermometer. Uh, here's the other one. Uh, so you're going to have to provide a thermometer because to follow the guidelines uh, that were released from the University of Wisconsin, uh, you need a thermometer. So when you get it, get one that shows uh, over 212, this one shows 220, and it will fit into one of the steam holes because this is how you're going to monitor to make sure you have the right heat through the whole process. Um, this one was about five bucks. Uh, got it on Amazon. So let's start canning and I'm just going to hit the highlights because mostly I want to show you how the canner works. But I'm doing hot pack crushed. These are peeled. Uh, you want to put three or four cups in to start with. Get them up to heat. Uh, get them to a, uh, a good simmer. Uh, and crush them. You don't have to crush all the tomatoes as you go. Uh, but these first few you want to crush them. And I've chosen to do my tomatoes hot pack crushed. Because with the atmospheric steam canner. You can't do anything that has a water bath process of over 45 minutes. You're working with a limited amount of water. Uh, and the guidelines that came down from the University of Wisconsin specify nothing over 45 minutes. And that includes adjustment for altitude. So you can use your water bath guidelines uh, for the steam canner for any high acid foods that process for 45 minutes or less. High acid only. This does not replace your pressure canner. So your tomatoes, your pickles, your jellies, your jams, anything high acid. Uh, and there's a benefit to using the steam canner because uh, it heats up your kitchen less, uses less water, and is not so heavy. So that's why I think so many people were excited about the new guideline. So my tomatoes are simmering now for their last five minutes and I'm using the National Center for Home Food Preservation's directions on hot packed crushed tomatoes. I'll put that link in the info. I'm adding about four quarts of water right up to the rack. Turn it on high, let it come to a simmer while I'm getting the jars prepared. One jar at a time. You see I've got a good steam going there. Just like with your uh, water bath canner, one jar at a time to prevent thermal shock. And this is one reason I'm suggesting you go ahead and get a Victorio. This rack is pretty rinky-dink. The jars just don't feel secure sitting on this rack. And I have bought a better rack. Um, but I wanted to show you the one that came with the canner this time. Of course, I paid less than $20 for this, so buying a rack's not going to break the bank but the day after the guidelines became public this um, canner doubled in price so all ready to go I'm gonna put the lid on this sort of unsturdiness makes putting the lid on kind of tricky uh, but just slide it down over and line up your handles so that you have a clear view of one of the vent holes now, I know you can't see this, but I've got a plume of steam out about six to eight inches, and we're going to put in our thermometer, and you may have to jiggle it around just a little bit to get it to fit between the jars, uh, but turn it so that you can see it. 
And yes, that does say 220. Steam is hotter than water. But you want this thermometer to show you at least 212, uh, which shows that the water is boiling. And you want to maintain that through the whole process. So we're going to start our timer now. These tomatoes take 45 minutes in quarts, which is the outside limit on time. And you want to make sure that you don't boil this dry. So you're going to look for the sweet spot somewhat like uh, with a pressure canner. And I have found that I can turn my heat down to three out of nine and maintain a temperature uh, at 212 or above. You don't want it to boil dry. And when your 45 minutes is up, you're going to want to turn your heat off and wait. Uh, just like with a water bath, you wait uh, for 10 minutes. With this one, you wait until the thermometer goes down below the boiling point. Then remove your thermometer and take the lid off, pointing away from you. And here we have our tomatoes. And while I complain about this particular brand, I do love the steam canning process think it gives you a pretty product less heat less water less weight I mean there's no downside for items that process less than 45 minutes and I apologize for the bad light it's actually pretty late at night here so I'm taking the tattler lids out first I did two of those as an experiment tightening them according to directions I do love my Tattlers, and I'm going to do a video just on how to use Tattlers in the steam canner later. Uh, but right now, I just did two because apparently some folks wondered if they worked in the steam canner. And yes, they do. You know, the guidelines for using the steam canner says to use the same times and procedures as you do in a water bath canner. So no reason to believe that it would be any different with tattlers than using them in a water bath canner. So here's our final product, not too shabby. I'm going to leave these alone for 12 to 24 hours. In the morning, I'll show you the final product. I'll show you how that separation uh, goes away. See you then. So here you have it. Everything's sealed. I've taken off the rings, washed the jars and the lids. Uh, to put them away cleanly and you know I just really like the way the steam canned tomatoes look that little bit of separation you get when you can tomatoes uh, goes away over a period of days it's already starting to go away here so I hope you found this helpful uh, I hope that you try the steam canner especially if you're like me and gosh the old back is just getting kind of bad so lifting the water bath canner uh, is getting kind of hard for me. So thank you for joining us on Debbie's Back Porch. Hope to see you again tomorrow.